Welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel. Here is an overview of the video. Let's start with the introduction section of VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup is designed to search for a specific value in the leftmost column of a table and retrieve a corresponding value from a specified column. It is a powerful function that can greatly enhance your data analysis capabilities and streamline your workflow. Let's look at a simple example in the next section to understand this function easily. This section demonstrates how to use VLOOKUP with a simple example by breaking down each argument step by step. Here we have a table of data containing personnel information. To locate an email based on a particular ID number, we can use the VLOOKUP function as follows. Step 1. Start the VLOOKUP function. Select a cell to output the result, then begin by entering the VLOOKUP command. As you can see, the VLOOKUP function takes four parameters. Step 2. Specify the lookup value. The first parameter we will enter is the value we are looking for in the first column of the table. Here we want to search for the ID number 1005 provided in cell G4, so I select the cell G4. Step 3. Specify the table array. The second parameter we will need to enter is a range of cells, containing both the first column with the lookup value, and the column of the desired result. Here we select the range B4, E10. Step 4. Specify the column from which you want to return the result. The third parameter we must enter is the column number in the table where the return value can be found. In this case, since we are looking for the email of an ID number, we will enter a 4 which represents the email column in the table range. Step 5. Find an appropriate or exact match. Finally and most importantly is the fourth parameter. This parameter determines whether an exact match or an approximate match will be done when looking for the first parameter. False means the VLOOKUP is looking for an exact match. True means the VLOOKUP is looking for an approximate match. Here I use false for exact match. Now we have finished all the VLOOKUP parameters. Press the enter key to get the result. You can see the email address, retata at extendoffice.com, appear in the selected cell. This part of the video will show you to practical examples of what you might need when using VLOOKUP. If you are confused about exact match and approximate match when using VLOOKUP, this section can help you clear up that confusion. In this example, I am going to find the corresponding names based on the scores listed in the range E6, E8. To get the exact match result, I enter this VLOOKUP formula in cell F5. Then drag the autofill handle down to F7. Here the last parameter is specified as false to perform an exact match lookup. However, as the score 98 does not exist in the first column of the data range, lookup returns an N, a error result. Here I still use the same example to show the approximate match result. I enter this lookup formula in cell I5 and drag the autofill handle down to I8. Please note that the last parameter is set to true here to perform an approximate match lookup. When performing an approximate match lookup, if no match is found, Excel will find the next largest value that is less than the lookup value and return the corresponding result. In this case, since the score 98 does not exist in the first column of the data range, the lookup finds the next largest value that is less than 98, which is 95, and returns the name of the score 95 as the closest result. Here is a note on using VLOOKUP for approximate match lookup. When performing an approximate match lookup, the values in the first column of the table array must be sorted in ascending order. Otherwise, VLOOKUP may not return the correct value. By default, VLOOKUP can only search for one condition. If you want to use VLOOKUP with multiple conditions, the method in this section can help. 
Take this payroll as an example. If you want to locate a salary based on the name and department listed in H5 and H6, follow the steps below to get it done. Step 1, add a helper column to concatenate the values from the lookup columns. Here I add a helper column to the left of the data range. Adjust the width of the column. Then give a header to it. In this helper column, select the first cell under the header, enter this formula. Here we use the ampersand to join the text in the name and department columns and separate the text with space. Select this result cell, then drag the autofill handle down to apply this formula to other cells in the same column. The helper column is now finished. Step 2, apply the lookup function with the given criteria. Select a cell where you want to output the result, here I select I7. Enter this formula in the selected cell. Here I use the ampersand the same way as the help column to join the two given conditions in I5 and I6 and use the result as the lookup value. Select the payroll table including the helper column. Here the helper column is used as the first column of the table. The salary column now is the fifth column of the table, so we use the number 5 as the column index in the formula. The last parameter is then specified as false for exact matching. Now, lookup returns the salary based on the given name and department. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.